I used to play instruments as a kid. I used to try and record uh, anything that I'd played on piano, guitar. I was always, always seeking, you know, what could make the sound of, of, of my performance better. That kind of thing always inspired me. A lot of music from the 60s had uh, lots of echo and reverb on it and uh, that otherworldly feel for that sort of music uh, really used to light my imagination up. When I was doing my engineering degree at Cambridge there was a, a room which had a hard floor and uh, a glass tilted roof and hard walls. I would start making little noises like tss and tsh and the high frequencies from this room used to build and build and, and kind of go on indefinitely and, and that sound of that room stayed with me and all that went into, into, into the soul of the RMX-16. I wanted a, a box that was really, really musical that you, you could set at almost any setting and have it really sound good. We took the prototype to quite a few musicians that we, we, we loved and uh, it was something really new for them and, and I think they could see the artistic possibilities of it. The thing that was done by Crabtree was that he actually listened. Instead of just taking note for note what something says in a spec, you actually listen and tune by ear after you get your original algorithms together and you can definitely hear that. It's 33 years since, uh, since I first designed it and uh, in, in those years a number of people have said why don't you do a plug-in version for this. Other people have done simulations of reverbs and I really wanted this to be note perfect. The algorithms are, are byte for byte exactly the same as the, the hardware unit and so getting the, uh, the existing algorithms was quite a task but uh, you were with absolutely the right people to do it. There are nine programs on the RMX-16. Uh, there are three or four different sorts of programs, each of which has got a completely unique algorithm. One of my favorite RMX-16 programs to use is the Ambience program. I find that it's really elegant and expansive. Unlike a lot of the other devices from a similar era, it's warm and it's very musical, and it has none of the graininess associated with other things. One of my favorite programs out of the RMX-16 is the plate verb. Uh, obviously, throughout history, we've used plates to colorize the sound. That's what it's most known for. I'm a big drum guy, and the color that I can get from that plate program is incredible. It allows me to almost go back to exactly the way that I was mixing prior to mixing in the box. It sounds exactly like the RMX-16 that I was using. I think one of the most interesting programs in the RMX-16 is the non-LIN. And what that would do is take any sound, it was particularly really short sounds, and extend them in time into this sort of little box of a space that would just come and disappear, you know, almost instantly. A very different, very unusual thing and just transformative. You can hear on the UA presets that are in there, there's very great variety of, of sounds coming out of the same algorithm, so it's quite versatile. It's actually quite uncanny. It just looks like the real unit and it just sounds like the real unit. <laughs> 